This week, I wanted to profile a neighborhood in Minneapolis that isn't technically really a neighborhood unto itself because it's really the border of a few neighborhoods that line the Mississippi River and look out on West River Road. I'm not even showing you the entirety of that either, just a chunk of the southern section because West River Road extends quite a ways north from here and you can bike all of that as well. I love the homes along this street and the blocks that directly adjoin it. The homes on the Parkway or West River Road feel gracious and somewhat grand but still livable and the location by the river is absolutely excellent too. I'm Mary Schumann, I'm a realtor here in Minneapolis and I make videos that highlight neighborhoods and suburbs and give you an outsider's perspective on what it's like to live here in Minnesota because I am not a native. I also give periodic updates on the real estate market here. So if you like that kind of thing, please let me and YouTube know by subbing, clicking the like button or leaving a comment. I also have some free downloads in the description box below this video, which include a relocation guide and you are welcome to download those as well. All right, I'll apologize a little bit in advance because I filmed this with a GoPro on my bike helmet on one of my rides and it's not always like the super smooth look, but it did allow me to capture a little bit of a different perspective than I normally would have in the car. The area that I'm highlighting today sits right along the Mississippi River. So if you are not familiar with the Twin Cities, you may not know that they are actually directly touching each other. And the river functions as a big part of the border between a section of Minneapolis and St. Paul. If you choose to live in this neighborhood, you will be very centrally located to both cities. Oftentimes people choose which city they want to live in based on which side of the river they work on. Um, you know, getting across a bridge to get to work might slow you down a little bit, but this really wouldn't be an issue here because you are just right in the middle of all of it. When I ride my bike through this area, which is often, I always think that this would be an ideal location for anyone who is working for the University of Minnesota, the University of St. Thomas, St. Catharines University, or McAllister College, all four of these colleges are easy commutes from here by car or by bicycle. Another fact about Minneapolis St. Paul is that people here love to ride bicycles. <laughs> the bike enthusiasts will absolutely never tell you that there is enough bike infrastructure here, but compared to other places that I've lived, it's actually quite extraordinary. We we have dedicated bike paths and bike lanes throughout the metro and they are heavily utilized all year long. I mean it, like even in the winter. Most businesses have bike racks or some sort of bike parking nearby and e-bikes are booming here too. And I actually rode my e-bike for this video. They are great transportation and a lot of fun. The areas surrounding this neighborhood are full of shops and restaurants, and this is the kind of place you may really like to live in if you enjoy living in the city and you want access to all the conveniences that brings with it. Prices for homes that face the river and the parkway directly are, of course, higher. The median price there is about $600,000. Um, those that are in the blocks directly behind them come in around $400,000, and you would expect that, right? That if you're facing the river and the park, you're going to pay more. West River Road comes from north of downtown, and as you go south, you're going to go past the Stone Arch Bridge, which is in downtown. It's an old railroad bridge that they've turned into a pedestrian and bike bridge that crosses the river to St. Anthony, Maine. It's a great little area with an independent movie theater and wonderful restaurants that have patios facing the river, just booming in warmer months. It's a great place. West River Road has easy access to cross the river to the University of Minnesota, 
or further south from that, you can cross and get into the McAllister Groveland neighborhood of St. Paul. And that's also a hub for restaurants, shops, and colleges. I've done a video on the Mac Groveland neighborhood and also one on the Highland neighborhood in St. Paul, both were close together. If you wanna see that area as well, I will link to those. If you keep heading south on the road, you're going to pass the homes on the right that I'm showing you and the river on the left. And you're going to come to Minnehaha Falls, which is where Minnehaha Creek joins the Mississippi River. And it's one of my favorite stops in the summer when I'm out on my bike because they have a restaurant there called Sea Salt that serves all kinds of fresh fish or fried fish. I like the fish tacos. <laughs> And you can get a glass of wine or a beer and hang out on the shady patio and watch tourists try to steer those crazy four-person buggy style bikes around. So that's that's my entertainment while I have a beer. So that's the end of West River Road. But if you're on your bike, you can keep going west on Minnehaha Parkway Trail. And you can take that all the way up and around the lakes. That's Lake Harriet, Bitimakaska, Brownie Lake, Cedar Lake, Lake of the Isles and off to any number of other spots that you feel like seeing. If you have questions, I would love to chat with you because I love talking to people that find me on YouTube. So please reach out and have a great week.